Thank you for choosing Lebe Stock. Your decision to engage with us is giving us the chance to spread the love, power, and the possibility of kettlebell training. You are the reason why we can do what we do, helping people discover the world of physical culture. If you want to let other people know about your learning experience with us, then leave us a rating on Google. Your coach is waiting for you. Grüezi miteinander. Gregory und Gypsy von Lebestag hier. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stream. We have a lot of things that we want to cover. But first, if anyone's in the chat, uh, this is a new format that I'm trying out. If anyone's in the chat, can you help me for technical issues? Let me see. Oh, you guys can hear me. That is awesome. Awesome. I just checked it myself. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to do three things, actually. The first thing is I'm going to show you how to become more confident with your kettlebell training. And, and I'm going to give you three solutions that you can use right now. You can apply them. You can take them with you. Enjoy them. Have fun with it. And I hope it serves you some value. Number two, if after this first session, you want my help and you're like, hey, Gregory, I like what I'm seeing, but I want to take it a step deeper. I'm going to show you a great bundle that I've prepared just for this class that you can opt in if you're interested. It's a paid course and I'm going to show you what it's all about. And number three will be a Q&A. So all the questions that you are Asking right now, please be patient, put them in the chat, and I will answer them after we have covered the first two sessions. I hope that's okay with you. So let's jump right into the three solutions. Now, the first thing that you have to do is if you are on your phones right now, make sure you put the camera or the iPhone or the smartphone somewhere where you can see me and make some space because I actually want to teach you something and I want you to take part with me in this class. And for this, you need a kettlebell, you need proper space and make sure nothing is in close proximity, okay? I give you a few seconds if you want to set up your system. Gypsy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Our big boy Gypsy is also here. Okay. So now, the first thing that we're going to cover is I want to teach you the hybrid hand-to-hand -hand swing. Because I believe the hand-to-hand -hand swing, especially the hybrid version, gives you so much bang for your buck. Because we're mixing high tension with high volume. So let me demonstrate the exercise first, and then we're going to cover some basics. Then we're going to cover some basics. And then I want you guys to try this stuff with me. So watch me first. The hybrid hand-to-hand -hand swing. Ready? Watch me. So if you are a kettlebell beginner, this exercise uh, will be a little tricky because we human beings are handsy creatures and we are used to moving stuff with our arm muscles. And so if you're just starting out, there's one important cue that you have to know. And that is, do not move the kettlebell with your hands. Grab it with your hands, but do not move it with your hands. Very important cue. Cue number two that you want to understand is we want to increase the time our arm is connected to the body and we want to decrease the time our arm is disconnected from the body. Another important cue. Because we are grabbing the weight, our arm is an extension and the kettlebell is an extension of the arm. So 
I need to wait until the arm reconnects with my body and then I can move the weight with my body. If I only use it with my arms, I'm gonna burn out quickly. So the first thing that you have to learn with me and you can watch me and try this at home right now is the hinge. You stand shoulder width apart, bring both of your hands to your hips so you feel that bony structure. Push your hips back. Now your knees are unlocking. They're not straight, but they're also not bending. They are unlocking. Push your hips back. What happens with your upper body? You don't bend it, you don't round it, but you keep the spine straight. Push the hips back. Stay with me here for a moment. Imagine like you're a ski jumper. I don't know if you're familiar with this form of athleticism, but once these guys, before these guys get ready to jump, this is how they drive down the, the lane. Now, if you do it correctly, you should feel some tension in your hammies. This is where the tension is happening. And this is exactly what we release when we come back up. Whew. Okay. So try this again with me, shoulder width apart. Connect your fingers with the bony structure of your hip. Push it back. Upper body comes forward. Spine stays straight. Knees don't bend. They unlock. Keep the tension and come back up. Okay. Now. If you do it correctly, maybe if you haven't done this before, it feels a bit strange. Sorry, I got to um, put my phone somewhere I can see it so I can see that the, the technique, uh, the system is uh, not, not uh, causing any trouble. So it may feel a little strange. You're like, yeah, I feel so much tension. This is nuts. What I can tell you from experience is that People are not used to moving their hips like this. And we are not used, many people have lost the ability to connect with the strongest muscles of their body, which are your glutes, these things right here. So that's why it maybe feels a little strange, but if you feel that tension, and when you come back up, boom, you lock the knees, you have a lot of tension in your abdominals and in, and in your legs, that's when you are doing it correctly. Now, Let's imagine we have an imaginary kettlebell. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to follow me as we break down the hybrid hand-to-hand -hand swing into its phases. Watch me first. The first phase is pulling the kettlebell into the back swing. Back swing means the kettlebell is right here. And as you can see, my full arm is connected with my body. Phase number one. Phase number two, and this is the hinge if you have paid attention a couple of seconds earlier. Phase number two is I use the energy that I built up right here and I boom, thrust my hips forward. This is called hip extension and now the kettlebell's flying, phase number two. Now, as soon as the kettlebell reaches its apex, that's the moment before gravity does its thing and pulls the weight back down. This is where I'm switching hands, phase number three. And now, the most important part, the beginners mess up most of the time. Now, gravity does its thing. The kettlebell drops. You wait, wait, wait. Boom, now I have reconnected my arm with my body. We call this the ABC, arm body connection. I've reconnected my arm with my body. Now I'm able to hinge. And I'm coming back up, boom. So if you're still with me, and I hope it makes sense, you feel and you should understand that I am not moving the weight with my arm. If I would move the weight with my arm, it would look a little something like this. I would pull the weight in, no connection. I use my arms, thrust the bell forward, but my hips are still behind. Now I'm switching the weight, I let the bell drop. You see the, how much disconnection there is? Now the bell drops, a little bit of connection happens, I, I'm still behind, I'm still pushing my hips back, and now I come back up, no hip engagement, using the arms again. Let me demonstrate what this looks like, and maybe you see yourself in this type of exercise or in this type of mistake, which is not a problem, you're here to fix it. So watch me if I exaggerated doing it the wrong way, watch me. Watch my hips. Now, in an advanced perspective, we could also say, 
That's not even wrong. If I want to do high pulls, for example, watch me. I want to do high pulls with no hip engagement. It's not wrong if I do it consciously, but most people don't do it consciously. Okay? So now, ladies and gentlemen, if you have your kettlebell in front of you, I want you to try it with me, okay? First, we got the setup. Bring the bell between your legs. Now I look down and I see that the kettlebell's positioned between uh, in the middle of my foot. Now I take one step back. This is a triangle. Now we are getting ready to do some reps. We do 10 reps. When you're ready, follow me. Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Park the bell. Now, how did it feel? If you're just starting out, maybe your arms are burning. Let's remedy this. I'm, re I'm grabbing a lighter weight so I can show this to you. Imagine I got the kettlebell right here and I'm grabbing it in a crush grip. Watch me. This is a crush grip, okay? My hands is fully wrapped around the handle. You don't want this because this signals your brain that you need these muscles to act. You don't want this. What we instead want is a finger grip. Now, do you see I'm creating distance? My palm has no connection with the handle whatsoever. And my pinky connects with the lower part of the arch of the handle. Can you see this? This is how we grab it when we swing it. Now you might have seen me do this, okay? I call this a backhand, just like in tennis. Now, this is preference. If you're just starting out, I just want you to do it front-handed, okay? Now let's give it another shot and think about, you wanna uh, be very easy and, 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 and subtle with your arms. Remember the cue, you grab the kettlebell, but you don't move it, okay? Let's give it another shot when you're ready. We do 10 reps in three, two, one, let's go. Four. Eight, nine, ten, park the bell. So I'm just giving you an overview. There's a lot of details that we can still cover, but I don't want to overwhelm you. This is the hybrid hand-to-hand -hand swing. That's solution number one. A great exercise that you can use in almost any case. It's great for weight loss. It's great what I believe is so fascinating about the swing and about ballistics in general, and that's just my hypo hypothesis. And that is, you move the body in a way that the body really loves and likes. And we've seen from experience that people tend to say, not everybody, but a huge percentage says, this is actually the first time it's fun. And I believe that's what the kettlebell does. It, it, requires your body to move in a way that the body really likes. And this may add to the fact that you start liking the exercise. And if you like doing the exercise, you are almost, you're winning the battle, okay? Now, solution number two is, uh, many folks ask this question is, can kettlebells build muscle? Yes, they can. However, it's not bodybuilding type of muscle. I call it practical muscle, okay? Muscle that can do a lot, but that doesn't look like a bodybuilder because we don't train the way a bodybuilder does. However, this does not mean that we cannot build muscle. 
because if we follow the rules of hypertrophy, that's just a very special word for muscle building, then we can uh, build and grow muscle. However, not in that same potential as a bodybuilder would, but most people don't want to look like bodybuilders. So what is the crucial part that you have to understand when you want to build muscle? It's just one word, time under tension. And now we're going to learn a second exercise that, I, that is called the press. And I want you to focus on the slow yielding part. The yielding part is where when the kettlebell is in the top fixation, we press it. Now the kettlebell comes down. We also call this the eccentric phase, but I like, I like yielding more. So we yield, but we take our time. We don't go fast and we don't use momentum or ballistics like we did in the swing. So let me demonstrate the exercise. First, you can observe, watch me. First, we have to clean it. Now I keep my elbows close. Watch me. So as you can see in that yielding phase, I go slow. Now let's jump over the press real quick. One thing that I want you to understand is when you clean the bell up, keep the elbow close to the body. And now you pull the kettlebell towards the heart. Now the bell rests in the nest. This is what we call the nest. And now if I want to press it, I have to bring my fist up, fully extend the arm, and come back down. So think about pressing the handle up. What does that look like? This is the handle, right? I rack the weight. Here's the magic. Boom. You see this? The handle goes up first. Can you see how the bell this thing right here is slightly pointing towards the floor and the handle is slightly pointing towards up. This is how you press it. You don't press it like this. You press it like this. Okay. So try the following. You have your kettlebell in front of you and now we clean it up and then you just slide your hand inside the handle. Doesn't matter if it's perfect, that's not the case. We just wanna try a press. So watch me. Boom, boom, bam. I wait a couple of seconds until you have your kettlebell up in your rack. And now it should look like this. If you have to correct it, do it now. Maybe it looks like this. Then grab it with your other hand and slide inside the handle. Okay, now I can wave hello and the handle points towards down my forward, uh, towards my forearm, okay? Now I rack the weight, now try with me. We do three presses, ready? Three, two, one, handles up. Now it's in the top fixation. Now before you go down, slowly, take your time. Take your time, take your time. That's one, back up. Take your time. Take your time. Take your time. One more. Take your time. Take your time. And now park the bell. Okay. In a training setting, we would now use the other arm as well. So grab a sip of water. I hope I'm able to serve you some value. Great stuff. Okay, guys and gals. Now I've taught you two powerful exercises, the hybrid hand-to-hand -hand swing, as well as the press. And when it comes to muscle building, it doesn't matter whether this is a, whether this is a press, whether this is a goblet squat, whether this is a push-up. The yielding phase where you Go against gravity. This is where you go slow. 
keep this in mind. If you want to build muscle, you got to slow down the yielding phase and reduce the amount of momentum you're using. Now, solution number three, we're going to do a little workout together. Okay, so I hope you guys are ready. Make sure nothing is in, in, is in your close proximity. Now, we do three exercises. We've just learned the swing. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Hands to hand swing. Then we rest a couple of seconds. Then we do the press with the right side and then with the left side. And then as a final exercise, because I don't want to over, overwhelm you, we're just going to do a body weight squat. And watch me do a squat. It's fairly simple. You stand shoulder width apart. Remember the hinge, you push your hips back, knees go out, arms go to the front, boom, that's it, okay? And you come back up. So what we're gonna do is one minute hybrid hand-to-hand -hand swing. You see the timer right here, the big zero? This is where it's rolling. One minute hand-to-hand -hand swing. One minute press with the right side, one minute press with the left side, and one minute of squats, okay? So with this third solution, I'm giving you a powerful workout that helped many of our clients not only get into shape, but also lose weight, build muscle, become stronger, become fitter, because we're using the power of the basics. Now, folks, get ready. I'm now getting ready as, as well. I'm sweating like a mofo in here. Wow. Oof, it's hot. We're experiencing a heat wave. So whenever you folks are ready, gypsies are, watch, watch gypsy. Boy, you ready? Hand to hand swing. In three, two, one, follow me. I breathe in when the kettlebell lands in the backswing, and I breathe out when the kettlebell's on top. I hope my ear pods don't fall out of my ear. Ooh, gypsy. Watch it, boy. You got 25 seconds, folks. Keep going and keep breathing. If you have to cook, put the kettlebell down, don't worry about it. It's all good. It's all about learning the movement. And park the bell. Relax, relax, relax. Now, clean your bell up with the left side, press. Breathe in, tension. Take your time when you go down, take your time. Slowly, the yielding phase, take your time, take your time. We got 20 seconds to go. Take your time. And once the bell's up in the top fixation, arm is close to your ear. One more. And switch sides. Go down slowly. Remember, remember, folks. Remember. The yielding phase shoo, is when we want to take our time. I want to take my time. I want to keep my arms stable. This is such a powerful exercise, not only for your full upper body, but also for your rotator cuff. Because your rotator cuff has to stay shoo, stable. There's no movement. No movement. Shoo, we got 25. Shoo. We got 15, folks. I hope you're not just watching. I hope you're moving weights. <laughs> Don't just watch. Move that stuff. Oh. Relax for a couple of seconds. Squat coming up. Oh, wow. I'm sweating. Good boy. 
Okay. Body weight squat. Now, if you're not sure with this exercise, take the cue that I've heard from Ed Cohn, one of the most, one of the strongest power lifters to ever grace this planet. And that is, take your time, go down slowly. He calls it the 10 second squat. If I go down that slow, I know where my body has to move. And as soon as something, oh, no, that's not where I want to go. I take my time. It's all about control and focus. And that's what I love about the kettlebell. The kettlebell gives you everything. Control, focus, relaxation, tension. Last one. Now stay down for a couple of seconds. Keep that position. Come back up. And you got it. Great. Great stuff, folks. Great stuff. So please take this workout. Run with it. Use it. And you know, sometimes we have people come in. They do these three minutes for the first time. Swing, press, squat. And they're like, wow. I can't remember feeling maybe a little bit exhausted, but also this feeling of, wow, my body, everything moved and I feel great after one hour at the gym. And that's the power of the kettlebell, folks. So I hope I was able to serve you some value. Now I'm switching uh, back to cameras. Let me do some, some setting up. Turn this one on. Great. Hoo ha! Let's see. Uh, I have to share my screen. Same here. So now I'm going to show you something, folks. And let's just take these off. Oh, it's so hot in here, guys. Let me see. Awesome. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want me to help you, if you're like, listen, Gregory, um, I like what I'm seeing, and I could, I could easily get some more from you. Now here's the part where I want to show you a solution where you maybe have to invest a little bit of your money. If you're not interested, you can click away, no worries. But if you click away, folks, please take this solution that I've just presented to you. These three exercises, the swing, the press, the squat, and run with it. Run with it. Do it. Now if you want me to help you, I have a powerful kettlebell course bundle for this live stream, for this session, designed exclusively with the things in mind that I just showed you. And you find the link, it's the first link in the description. So let me explain what you're getting. This course bundle is packed with simple workouts and tutorials so you know exactly what to do. Because most of the times, that's the case. People come to us because they are confused. And sometimes they get, and I don't want to... I don't want to talk bad about anybody, but sometimes they get superficial influence on knowledge and then they feel like, I don't know if that's, is, is that really what the kettlebell is all about? And then, I, you know, I can give you a great example. I just started an awesome marketing course with a dude, his name is Frank Kern, and he's, he's a heavyweight in the game. He's been in the game for 20 years. And I told Angie, I said, the, the stuff that I got from him, I paid his course, the stuff that I learned from him, I already 10 x my investment because it is the real deal. And sometimes we're walking around confused and then one day we walk up to the real deal, we find the solution and we're like, wow, that's what it's all about. It's that huge aha moment. So you know exactly what to do to get in shape and increase confidence with your kettlebell because at the end of the day, being more confident in your kettlebell training has everything to do with the reps you put into the exercises and the knowledge you have about them. So you first, like my sensei Steve Carter said, first we need the information to do it right. And then if we do it right, we do it right, we do it right, we keep investing, we keep investing. What follows is inspiration. But first we need the proper foundation and that is the proper information. It rhymes, so it is true. <laughs> 
And especially this course bundle, if you're a man over 30, this thing's for you, my man. This thing's most definitely for you. So this is the core system uh, from 90 gains of kettlebells. I've invested a lot of time into 90 gains of kettlebells. And um, the other, uh, the hybrid style masterclass with the technique in it, it's the same setup. It's our academy. It's an online course based system. You can have access to it from anywhere around the world as long as you have an, a valid, uh, a solid internet connection. And this is what it looks like. On the, le uh, on the left side, you have all the chapters and the lessons. And in the middle, you have, what you have your workout or your tutorial or the PDF that you have to read or whatever. It's a powerful course system. And I'm really proud to announce that we have already over 1,200 inscriptions or 1,200 signups on the Academy, which is so powerful. I think we're, we're, at the, we're at the cusp of something. So what is the mission of this course bundle? The mission is to build practical and aesthetic muscle with kettlebells and bulletproof your form and technique. So 90 gains of kettlebells takes care of the muscle building and the training and the workouts. And the Hybrid Style Masterclass, which is course number two, takes care of your form and technique. You, and without you having to be stuck in traffic or going to the gym. As we all know, if you are a man over 30, more responsibilities. Who knows if another pandemic breaks out? And that's why everybody jumped on the kettlebell because it's like, wow, I need something where I can work out no matter what happens. And so you know what the great thing about a second pandemic could be? If a sec second pandemic breaks out with a lot of zombies walking around, you just swing those suckers away, okay? You just keep swinging. So every time a zombie runs at you, like, ah, oh, you boom, do those hybrid style swings, then they're gone. That's how you move them suckers. <laughs> the only thing that you need, my friends, is a kettlebell. That's the only thing that you need, discipline and dedication. Now, I have to mention, if you have two adjacent weights, that's for example a 12 and a 16, that's when you get the most bang for your buck or the most profit out of 90 gains of kettlebells. However, I've also designed the course with folks in mind who only have one kettlebell at home. So here's how this thing will help you. It takes care of all these pain points that we have. We don't know what to do. We don't know how to do it. We maybe hurt ourselves, but we still want to do something for our fitness, but we don't want to be stuck in, in, in a gym or, or some place where maybe I have the great tool in my hand, but I don't know how to use it. So you get simple and quality workouts and they take you approximately 15 to 30 minutes per session. Now remember, if you go to the gym, you're stuck in traffic, you hit the gym, and then you see somebody there, hey, what's up, how you doing, blah, blah, blah. And then you drive home, what, it's two hours past? With the kettlebell, uh, one of our clients, he just says, you know what I do? I have the kettlebell right next to my bed. So that's where I work out. And when he joins our classes, that's when you see him, right in his, in his bedroom. The kettlebell's next to the, be uh, to the bed. That's how he does it. You train three times per week in 90 gains of kettlebells and we will help you achieve the lean kettlebell physique. Now, what is this? Guys, like I mentioned, we are not bodybuilding right here. If you want to look like a bodybuilder, the kettlebell is the wrong tool. I'm just saying it right here. If you want to look like Jay Cutler, Ronnie Coleman, all these heavyweights, forget the kettlebell. This is not the proper thing to use. However, if you want to become lean, I, I always say the kettlebell, it gives you the body of a middle distance runner and something that's a little bit closer to a sprinter, Usain Bolt type of vibes. That's the type of physique that you're getting if you train with kettlebells. Now, of course, it doesn't mean if you're a big, strong dude, of course, you can use the kettlebell for different types of stuff. We use it for folks who are similar to my build, who want to stay lean, but also want to pack on some muscle. And you will discover the fundamentals of the hybrid style. Now, this is very important, guys. The hybrid style, I'm just slapping a term on the style. I'm not inventing it. I just call it like this. You know why I call it like this? Because experts, kettlebell experts all around the world already say there is some form of hybrid. There are folks who use high tension, which is hard style, and high volume, which is kettlebell sport. But I 
I, uh, I rather use the description high tension, high volume that I got from my friend Sean Mosen from Agatsu Fitness. I love this description. High tension, where we have to use maximum tension, and high volume, where we have to use relaxation and tension in one. So that's the hybrid style that you're gonna discover in your second course, the Hybrid Style Masterclass, where we teach you all the fundamentals. I think it's 30 plus something exercises that we will cover just like the way I showed you. If you enjoyed this, what I just showed you, this is exactly what you're getting in the course. Now, what is the value? I always like to uh, compare this with the inherent value that you are getting. Now, what other people have paid and what I have paid to get where I am today, let me explain. 90 Gains of Kettlebells is based on our in real life coaching system that costs three to $6,000 if you wanna work with me one-on-one -on -one for four to six months. Just yesterday, we had another uh, consultation with a, a young lady who's interested in, in, in booking one of those systems, which is about three and a half, about to four or 5,000 US dollars, if we uh, factor in the exchange rate from Swiss francs, okay? And how stupid would I be if I would use an inferior system in the courses? If I would be like, okay, this powerful system works with our clients, let's use something that's completely worthless in the courses because they pay less. It's stupid. You get a lot of extra workouts in the course as well. And many folks, you're on YouTube. You, you, you probably know us already. You know what people say on YouTube? They always say the same thing. They say, Gregory, you know what? I hate these workouts because of those ads. I'm working out and all of a sudden, boom, here comes this ad. And I have you guys on the big screen. And then I gotta run up to the big screen and switch the ad. I do understand. I do understand your concerns. However, ads are not going anywhere. As long as you consume the free content, ads will be on. But if you buy one of the courses, ads are adios. Now the second thing, oops. The second thing that's in there, and that's what you really have to understand is, the hybrid style masterclass, my, uh, let's say like, um, my part that I want to give to the kettlebell world, my sensei is Steve Carter. Everything that I've learned, the fundamentals, I got it from Steve. He shared it with me. I did my research. I put in some more reps. I grinded a little bit more. And boom, here you go. This is where I am today. But I've paid Steve a, a lot of money to have him in the studio. And you'll get a bonus video. The bonus seminar, the seminar that I did with him, you get it in the course. And here I'm just saying, if you would join in a group setting to get what Steve was doing in a group setting and get certified, you pay at least 700 US dollars. And if you wanna invite Steve, which I highly recommend if you have the funds, I paid up to 3K to have him in the studio. I flew him in. And it was, the, I always tell him, I, every time I have contact with him, I say, Steve, you are the reason why I am where I am today. If it wasn't for you, I'd still be doing funny stuff with the kettlebell. So the inherent value that you're getting is over $10,000, the value. Now, why can I give it you for a better price? Because you're not booking my time. You're booking an on-demand course. Please know this. This is on demand that you are buying into. I'm not doing this live, okay? It's on demand. And my biggest kettlebell learning experience that I've had in my life is in the course. I can't stress enough, again, how much Steve Carter has influenced my training. And his philosophies are the building blocks of the hybrid style. And when he was here in June 2019, I've recorded his first seminar with me and with Angie, as you can see right here, I've recorded it and it's only available in the course. You won't get this anywhere else and you will learn from the master himself in the course bundle for free. And there's one more thing that you're getting, which yesterday we just had it and I loved it. It was so awesome, guys. It was so awesome. One more thing that I'm throwing in as a bonus, if you opt in for this bundle, let me tell you guys. You get free monthly coaching with me or with Angie. 
No joke. You know what I call this? I call it the School of Physical Culture. And I named it after Dr. Krajewski, who did this to serve his people back in the day when the kettlebell was just getting started in Russia. So what does that mean, free monthly coaching? Every month, you get an invitation that says, hey, friend, the School of Physical Culture is happening. You want to join? And then you can join. And yesterday, we had this great session with Sean and Matt. I love these two guys, man. It was a powerful session. And we worked out together for 30 minutes. And it was awesome. And Matt and Sean, you know what's crazy? When you look at these two dudes, uh, Sean and Matt, these are bears. And I am a lightweight dude. I call it, I'm a wolf. I love this description. I heard it in a movie somewhere, I think. The wolves, the lightweights one, the fast ones, that's me. And then the bears, Sean and Matt. And we had an awesome session. I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. So what am I charging? $10,000? <laughs> that would be awesome, right? Maybe somebody would even buy this. I'm not stupid, guys. I'm not stupid. It's just the value that you are getting. Remember, it's on demand. So I thought we sold the Hybrid Style Masterclass. We sold it for $9.97. And I realized that the Hybrid Style Masterclass is going so deep when it comes to form and technique. It's, it's way too much for beginners. And I'm just, I'm like, hey, do you want some information? And you're like, yeah. And I'm dumping the whole truck on you. <laughs> so... I had to boil it down. I was like, no, this is now reserved for coaches. By the way, we're starting to certify people, but that's another story, okay? So I've charged this price, and then I said, you know what? Let's cut this. Let's create a masterclass that is diluted, that is a little bit uh, not as intense, a little bit less um, geeky, but still there's a lot of value in it. And what I want to give it to you, I want to give it to you for... 297 US dollars. Payment plan of 109 US dollars per month for three months. That's what you're getting, guys. And if you want to opt in right now, check the first link in the description. Now, one thing that I want to guarantee is, I love this, I came up with this. I call it the no gain, no pay guarantee. It's very simple. You're in this course, you buy this course for 30 days and you're like, Gregor, you know what? I've gained nothing. No knowledge, no insight, no muscle, no nothing. You get your money back and you can keep the course. You know why? Because I believe in that stuff. I'm able to guarantee you a solidified coaching concept. That's what I can promise. I can't promise you result, results. That's stupid. That's just like folks walking around saying, hey, if you do this course, you'll get $10 million in, in two days. No. It's impossible to guarantee results because it depends on factors that we as coaches and teachers cannot influence. However, I can guarantee my coaching concept. So if you're on the fence like Gregory, I'm not sure, try it out, give it a shot, and if you don't like it, money back. Because if you're not happy, I'm not happy. And I value each, each and every one of you who subscribes to the YouTube channel. And if I'm selling you something, which I believe can really help you. And the reason why I sell you something is because I have to eat. <laughs> you know, it's not for free here in Switzerland <laughs> to run this stuff right here. It's not for free. And I value, you, I value you so much that I'm selling you stuff where I can put my seal on it. I get so many requests for, for all kinds of crap. Not crap. All kinds of stuff. And it's like, hey, present this to your audience. Sell this to your audience. You get a, a, a flight to this country with a five-star hotel stay, blah, blah. I'm always declining. We're only working with Manscaped. These are cool folks. Manscaped are cool folks. They're not, spon they're not sponsoring this video. I'm just mentioning their names because I like working with them. But the rest, so many stuff, so much stuff that we're getting, I'm always saying nah. I'm not promoting this, but this is our stuff. So that's what I can offer you. Enroll now if you want to. You find the link in the description. Jump on it, use it, and if you have a problem after 30 days, no gains, no nothing, get your money back. That's how we do it. That's how we do it, guys. Wow, how, how long did I take? 45 minutes. That's awesome.
Now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, do we have some questions in the room? In the room. So here I am. Here I am. Do we have some questions? Uh, let me take a sip of water. Whoops. And by the way, I really appreciate you guys showing up. It's hot, man. In Switzerland, we experience a heat wave that hasn't been seen before. So now let's check out the, um, the, the live chat. Let's see what's up. Oh, not a lot of questions. Ah, because I didn't call it a Q&A, right? But hey, so then I can, I can go to bed earlier. <laughs> so I'm just saying hello to everybody who joined. Deepma, hi Gregory, Deepma, hello. Jonathan Milan, hello. Uh, York Xing, Gregory is a real technician. Thank you, brother. It's all about, it's, it's all about, you know, you know what it's all about? It's all about putting in the reps. That's what it is. Listen, I, I'm, not, I'm not super special. Nobody is, actually. Nobody is. We just put in the work. And if somebody walks around acting act like he or she is super special, if they're not Usain Bolt or Roger Federer, even these people, they're normal people. It's just putting in the work, folks. And, and that's why, you know, I just love, I just love this thing. I love the kettlebell. I, I just, oh, I had a conversation today with uh, one of our uh, coaches who's about to get certified. Awesome. And I told her, I can spot, when you do this for so long and you love it so much, you can spot after a couple of seconds if somebody's moving right or moving wrong. If somebody's telling me, yeah, I train every day and all day with kettlebells, and then you pick them up and I see you take them for a spin, I can immediately tell after a couple of seconds if you really use them or not. And matter of fact, another coach shared this with me. She said, I see it after 60 seconds. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. That's the coach's eye. Amazing. Oh, I love that. Amazing. Anthony Agins. I'm watching at my desk at work, sadly, but I'm definitely going to do this later. Yes, do it, guys. But this stream, you know what? It is going away. It is going away. Yeah. Because I want to honor the folks who joined. And then I'm going to take it off the, not off the internet. I'm not, I'm not going to private it. So you better, if you really want to rewatch it, I'm giving you a, a, a tip now. You, you copy the link, you, you add it somewhere, and then you can watch it because I'm going to unlist this video because it's dedicated to our newsletter subscribers and, of course, our YouTube subscribers as well. But I want to honor the folks who jumped in and who really uh, t took their time to, to uh, learn with us today. Deepma, great work and great coaching. Thank you very much. Christopher Lethen, amazing. Thank you, brother. Uh, Gregory, I've just finished my workout about 20 minutes ago, so I'll try this later for sure. Do it, do it, guys. Yeah, 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 that's what's up. Christoph Ninaltovsky, thanks, Gregory. Toll wie immer. Danke dir. Liebe Grüße zurück. Sean, my main man, Sean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we had the session yesterday was awesome, right? Really loved it, man. Zombies. I have all of his courses and most of the other guys out there. He's definitely quality compared to, uh, compared to for what you pay for. Plus the attention from Gregory that comes with it. It is second to none. Thank you so much, brother. Really, really enjoyed this, man. It was awesome, and he gave corrections and coaching life. Yes, and I really enjoyed this. I really enjoyed this. You know what? I, I love this. I love working with people. It's such a fascinating experience, and I can't describe it. It's not. It, of course, we all have to eat. We all have to. Um, as a business, you have to move forward economically speaking. But I get a kick out of, out of coaching folks. And I get a kick. I, I see, how do you call it? The, uh, the, bright, the bright lights or the bright side technique. If I see somebody work and they ju just do it one inch better, I'll call this out immediately. And I remember one coach saying, you can't just always uh, give them credit because then your credit uh, loses its power. And I do get it to a certain extent, but I can't help myself. I'm just a hype man. I used to be a hype man back in the day on stage. So that's, you know, that's what I'm bringing with to the game now. Uh, which, uh, Sean, which do you start with first? If you guys want to opt in for the course, um, you have to, uh, let, me, let me show you again. Let me show you this again. Uh, here you go. Okay. So these are the two courses, right? So it's uh, 90 gains. That's the course behind. It's not DVDs. These are mock-ups, right? So everything's online. But um, that's a great question. The hybrid style is like a support wheel. 
So you start with 90 gains of kettlebells. It takes you three months through the system, through the course. So you start working. And you know what's powerful about the 90 gains of kettlebells? Matter of fact, I can show it to you in a second. I'm going to show it to you in a second. But it is a periodized training system. So you start with 90 gains. And the hybrid style is just a support wheel riding along. That if there's an exercise in 90 gains where you're not sure about it, you use the hybrid style masterclass light as a reference. But you can also say, hey, you know what? I'm gonna just put 90 gains to the side right now because I wanna start this program when I'm ready. But hey, I got some questions about the snatch. I got some questions about the jerk. I always wondered the long cycle. I always wanted to understand the clean and press. I always wanted to do the farmer's life. What is this all about? So then you can jump into the hybrid style masterclass light and then uh, scroll through the exercises that you really want. Matter of fact, you know what? You know what? Uh, let me just uh, switch the camera back real quick because um, here we go. Boom. Let me show you this. Let me show you this because I think it's awesome. I think it's awesome. And uh, we still have 40 people rocking with us. Awesome, man. And uh, please, guys, if you have any more questions, keep them coming. I'll be on for a couple of uh, minutes because I love doing this. I love doing this. So give me a second. Um, what's the course? 90 gains. And I love, man, for 90 gains, I really, I, blah. and there's new courses coming up. We have, oh, I, I can't tell you yet. It's too early. But man, what we got in store for you, it's next level. I truly believe it's next level. Um, here we go. So matter of fact, that's the hybrid style masterclass. Thank you for being patient with me. And I'm sorry for not making eye contact right now. But uh, I'm just watching my screen so I can show you that stuff. So matter of fact, um, let me just jump through the... Uh, just, just check out the questions real quick. If there's some questions. Um, Christoph, how many reps for muscle hypertrophy, for, uh, for hypertrophy do you recommend and how often in the week? Now, uh, for muscle hypertrophy, what is important is time under tension. But I think the realization came that if you want to work for approximately, let's say like one minute, 45 seconds to one minute, maybe one minute 30, that's, that's long. But if you want to increase the time under tension, mostly it equals to about eight to 10 reps. So I think that eight to 10 reps window is awesome. However, you can also engage a little bit into metabolic conditioning where you engage into other factors of muscle building that can aid you. And then you would maybe upgrade it to 15 to 20 reps. That's exactly what we do in 90 gains of kettlebells. We periodize the system. I'm going to show you to you in a second. But just an easy answer, I think, would be 10 reps are sufficiently. And in 90 gains of kettlebells, we take you three. It's three workouts per week. But in I think in, in the last month, it's four workouts per week. Then we do a semi-body split where we really want to hit the, the anabolic window, so to speak, as often as we can so that we can maximize the, the, the hypertrophy output. Oh, here's some questions jumping in. Awesome, guys. Uh, Jonathan, the hybrid hand-to-hand -hand swing messes me up in transfer phase. I worked on it, but I can only do hard style adequately. Jonathan, Jonathan if you're happy with high tension or hard style, keep doing it. And the, uh, the transfer phase, you mean when you're switching it? Yeah. Um, maybe if you're used to a hard style swing and you are a high tension swing and you use fairly heavy weights, uh, the, the, the switching phase can be a little bit tricky. So with the hybrid, we always recommend moderate weights. Not too heavy, but not too light. And what you really have to understand in the handover phase is you have to understand how to relax your arms and the grip. And then you slide in, okay? How to say it on, on social media, you slide into the DM. Well, you slide into the, hand, in, into the handle of the kettlebell. That's exactly what you do. And you let gravity do its thing. If you always grab it too tight because you got the heart style ideology or the philosophy, then you're probably always wasting uh, um, uh, effort so try to relax in that regard but sometimes maybe that that exercise is not perfectly made for you like hey i tried it a couple of times and i don't feel it i'd rather do hard style or high tension go for it uh and anthony 
I just got into kettlebells about a month ago. I really enjoy your way of teaching and the info you have. Thank you so much more to learn. Thank you so much, brother. I truly, truly, truly appreciate it. Can you do both at the same time or better start one first? Sean, you, you bought both of the courses, right? I think I saw it yesterday. You can really start with 90 gains if you want to, uh, if you, if you feel like, listen, I'm ready to take on 12 weeks of intense work because 90 gains is intense work. You really have to dedicate yourself to it. And you're ready for it. You're like, I'm ready. Let's do it. Go for 90 gains. If you're like, hey, I don't know. I don't know. I'm a little bit off. I um, just train a little bit unregular. Just want to get into the groove again. Let's just check out the Hybrid Star Masterclass first and learn some exercises and do some learning instead of some training then you can start with the hybrid, okay? It depends a little bit. I mean, I got something between my teeth. <laughs> Excuse me. Jonathan Anthony, come on board if you're not already. Gregory's passion to teach you will make it all worth it. Thank you so much, Sean, brother. Thank you, man. Clockwork door. Thanks, Gregory. Learned so much you, from you and been using your live workouts to achieve my goals. I was wondering if you have any advice for proper breathing techniques while training. Ooh, that's a good one. I'd have to do a video on this. But, um... Let's just say it like this. I mean, this is bothering me. <laughs> Let's just say it like this. With the breathing, um, focus on technique first. Understand the movement pattern first. And just do, I call it natural breathing. Just, just breathe naturally. Because if you try to do everything at once, you're overwhelming your system. Once you understand the movement patterns, this is where you can then start incorporating breathing patterns. And what I like to use is a mixture between power breathing and Valsalva. So what does that mean? For example, as we did in the press, if I do a press, what I like to do is breathe in through the nose, tense my abdominals, create some pressure. Then I press it up, breathe out just a little bit. Pavel calls it breathing behind the shield. And then I drop the bell back down, and this is where I fully breathe out, for example, in the press. In the hybrid style, um, hand-to-hand -hand swing, what I like to do is I breathe in when the kettlebell's in the back, swing through the nose, and once the kettlebell's atop, it floats, I breathe out through the mouth. And one powerful tip that I can give you with breathing in through the nose, you have to get used to it. And if you are doing intense exercise, it may be that the breathing in through the nose doesn't work anymore, which is totally fine. Then you start breathing through the mouth, totally fine. But try to... Um, prefer nose breathing as much as you can because if you breathe in through the nose, you actually create some form of substrate. I forgot the name, but you create some form of substrate that can, uh, I think, dilate your blood vessels so that the blood is able to flood, uh, um, flow through better. And if you breathe in through the nose, we have a huge cavity right, around here which uh, filters the air so... You, you just get more quality when you breathe into the nose, okay? So try to work on this. But technique first, breathing second. Lizzie, Lizoid. Oh, Lizzie, you, you, had, you had a great comment about your back pain, right? Was that you? That you started training and then your back pain or your pain went better or something like this? I, I remember your name because uh, we posted some of your... Um, some of your testimonial so to speak on social hi gregory is there a certain kettlebell weight we should use for 90 days always listen to your body if you are a woman starting out we always recommend 8 kg i think that's a 16 pound in uh, american uh, uh american style and if you are a male starting out i would use a 12 kg and as soon as you get more proficient with kettlebell training i believe and I'm speaking from the hybrid style of things where you use one kettlebell for everything. Overhead, down below, doesn't matter. That's the simplicity aspect of it. Then uh, as a woman, you probably uh, develop some form of evergreen weights between 12 and 16. So these are two kettlebells that you will probably use the most if you are proficient with kettlebells. And as a man, I'm just speaking average right now, you're probably using 20 to 24 kg on most cases, right? And remember, there's always outliers. For example, you have bears, real tanks, women and men who use way heavier weights. And then you have lighter folks who even use maybe 
even men who start with 8 kg, we have this as well. But I think an 8 kg for a woman is something that you can use for 90 days. Okay, guys, now let's just show, I just want to show you the system. Uh, let me just switch. Okay, boom, inception. Now you see inception. Double, double, double trouble. So here you go. Watch this. This is uh, 90 gains of kettlebells. And here's something I want to show you, which took me a lot. I've actually read the book from Dr. Brain Schoenfeld. I knew a lot about period, not a lot, but I knew stuff about periodization, but we took it to the next level. So watch this. Uh, this is the macro cycle. So what happens right here, let me zoom in a little bit. So what happens right here in 90 gains of kettlebells is you have week one through four. So these are one, that's the first month. This is where we incorporate a so-called strength phase. The idea is to build more strength in the beginning. The micro, uh, the micro cycle is we're using reps and time. So sometimes we use 10 reps, but sometimes we use one minute. Then we have full body workouts. We have three weeks of training and you do three days per week. And then we also have some deloading going on. Deloading, very simple. It just means after a couple, after a certain period of time, your body has to recuperate and maybe you don't want to rest totally. We then just do workouts to give your body enough time to recuperate and we are still active. We can also call this active rest. In the second month, you have the metabolic phase. We also go for reps and for time, but watch this. Here we are using four days of training. So here we're switching up the system and we are using different types of exercises and we're using so-called semi-body workouts. And then in the final phase, the final month, we're jumping into the hypertrophy phase. This is where we focus the muscle building aspect the most. So in the strength and the metabolic phase, we are prepping the body. And then in the hypertrophy phase, we go all out on muscle building. So then you have again, semi-body semi workouts, four weeks of training, four days of training per week, and no deload. This is the tough one. And now let's jump into the hybrid style masterclass just quickly. I want to brush over it quickly because I don't want to overwhelm you with all that stuff. For example, what are we talking about in the hybrid style masterclass? We're talking about grip, stance, and positioning, okay? How can you grab the kettlebell? How can you position your body? How can you um, uh, orient your wrist? This is, for example, wrist orientation. I talked about it, front hand, back hand. Then we talk about uh, kettlebell safety. What are the safety guides that you have to watch when you start working with kettlebells? We talk about categories of kettlebell exercises. Ooh, watch this. Um, it was, who, who asked the question? Uh, clockwork door. Here we have breathing and recovery. This is a full 12 minute video where we cover breathing, breathing alone. Then we have the warm up and mobility routine. We also do some stuff with the maze, just some basic stuff. And now we cover all the grinding lifts the deadlift, the roll, the reverse lunge, the squat, the press, the windmill, the get up. Then we cover all the ballistics the clean, the swing, the kettlebell sport, the hybrid clean, the jerk, and the snatch. And then we have doubles in the end. You have uh, the double deadlift, gorilla rolls, renegades, double clean, double strict press, double jerk, double front squat, long cycle. I don't want to overwhelm you guys. I just love talking about it. Right? <laughs> so you see, there's a lot of stuff in here. And that's the Harvard Star Masterclass where we're talking about technique. And this is 90 gains of kettlebells where you will do what you do on the regular stuff on YouTube, workouts, right? So that's the workout. Let's go. Bada boom, bada bing, bada bang. And once you've done the workout, you click complete and continue. Hey, great, you got it. The next day is coming up, okay? So this is just a proper system that is there to help you move forward. You're now just using a system. You can still join us on YouTube. And if that helps you, awesome, I appreciate it. But if you want to take it a step deeper and you're like, listen, I, I need some technique and I want to have a core system and I need a system to guide me, that's what's up. So I'm going to answer some more questions and then we're done. Oh, I missed this one. Obinya Inachaho. Sending love and appreciation from Botswana, Africa. Sending you a lot of love to Africa. Man, we, we, the whole world is gathered. I love this, man. I love this. 
Oh, thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lizoid. I'm happy to hear that. Been using 22 pounds. As for this year, I'm aiming to get comfortable with a 26 pound. That's what's up. What is 26 pound? I think that's 12 or 14, right? 10, 12, 14, something. KG. You go, Lizzie. Awesome. Lazy Womack, is this course truly for beginners? I'm looking for something new to try and I'm over 50. Is it safe? Well, it is safe, but it's not for beginners. 90 gains of kettlebells is not for beginners. You have to already have some form of, um, some form of, some fitness going on. But uh, if you are looking for something that is for beginners, let me just throw this in the chat real quick. Then you can join this one. Check this. Okay, just post it in the website. And this is where you can join 90, gains of, uh, 90 days of kettlebells. It's, an, it's our kettlebell course that is made for beginners. But I have to disappoint. I'm not trying to sell you stuff that is probably, that is going to overwhelm you. 90 gains of kettlebells is for advanced. Hybrid style is for beginners though, okay? Uh, we'd love to see in your podcast, Andrew Uberman. Well, I just fought, hey, you know what? I just started following Andrew Uberman. And I think it's, this dude has this good stuff. Very interesting stuff. Awesome. Yeah, 12 kg. That's what's up. So folks, thank you so much for joining. Uh, you spent how much? Almost two hours with me? No. We started, no, one hour, right? We've been streaming since, what? Yeah, one hour. <laughs> Great. That's it. Thank you so much for joining. I really appreciate it. I hope I was able to serve you some value. Don't forget. You're now able to join the bundle right now. There's a deadline to it. If you click on the link, the deadline, it, this course bundle is gone in an hour or something. But if you are watching this on demand, you have a different deadline. You see it somewhere on the page and you see when this thing expires, the offer is gone. We've had a lot of subscribers continuously asking, hey Gregory, where is this offer? Why is it gone? Why is the course bundle gone? Well. Deadlines work, right? And we want to stay true to our word. So thank you so much for joining, and I'll catch you on the...